Hey guys, I just wanted to um, quickly pronounce my YouTube name for you guys before we get into my main favourites because I know this has been something that's actually been quite highly requested and I'd already pre-recorded this video and completely forgot because I'm super forgetful so I am really sorry but um, okay so basically it's obviously goddess um, and then you don't pronounce the M it's just Nimosni and so it's just goddess Nimosni and the reason like behind it is that um, it's actually in Greek mythology and it's a god about making memories and I kind of saw my YouTube videos as memories and that's where it came from. I know it's super hard to pronounce and I had to google it myself and had to hear it in the beginning but um, I don't, I know a lot of you are finding it hard to pronounce so I don't know whether to change it or not. The only thing is it's like my blog and my Pinterest, my Twitter, um, Instagram and everything's linked so I would have to change all of that so if you think I should then just let me know. But, um, so that's just how you pronounce it, Goddess Nimosni, and I am going to stop talking now so you can start watching my May favourites. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you my May favourites. I can't believe it's already June, it's crazy really that we've already got to like halfway through the year. Um, I know I didn't do a monthly favourites last month, I just didn't really have many things to show you and I just... I didn't want to just try and pick up sort of anything. I actually want to show you stuff that I've really been loving. So I'm just going to get started and show the products that I have been loving for May. Okay, so my first product that I want to show you is a hair product. It's the only hair product I've actually got to show you guys today. And it's just this Macadamia Healing Oil Spray. Um, I got it in the 60ml because it was sort of like eight, nine pounds, which I thought was like kind of pricey but it is macadamia and um they are really good and i love my deep conditioning moisturizing like mask um like i'm obsessed with that which i think loads of youtubers are well i think i know loads of youtubers are but i've really been loving this it kind of smells like um angel by Thier thierry mugler i think that's how you pronounce it but yeah, I think it's kind of got that smell, but um, it's not really, really strong and it doesn't last on your hair for a really long time. So if you're not a fan of that smell, which I know that's kind of like Marmite, it's a bit of a love-hate um, perfume. I am a lover of it, so this, I really like the smell, but I just spray it onto the ends of my hair once I get out of the shower, once I've um, washed my hair and I don't comb it, I just spray it all through the ends and then I also put leave-in conditioner over the top of it, which... Um, you might have seen in my older, like, monthly favourites, and I love that one. But I spray that in, then leave it for a bit, and then I comb it through. And I just, I really, really like it. I think it's, it really has actually made a difference to my hair. It feels better, it feels softer. I do feel like it's got a bit of a shine to it, which is so rare for blonde hair. But, yeah, I really, really like this. I really recommend it. Um, and, yeah, so that's the Macadamia Healing Oil Spray. So that's my first one. Um, my second product that I'm going to show you is a skin product and you know I'm obsessed with skin products. I'm always trying new moisturisers and body milks and body butters um, and I just, this is something I really liked last month which if I'd had a May, fa a May favourites, a April favourites then I would have included it in this but it just, I only had like another two things I probably really liked but for it to still be a favourite of mine now and for me to have now bought my third one of these, I am I really do love it. And it's so inexpensive as well. So it's this N-Spa um, Raspberry Body Butter. It's from Asda and at the moment I think it's on an offer where you can get two for four pounds but normally it's three pounds. They say they don't test on animals, they say that it's been made in the UK and that it's also paraben free so that is amazing it smells so good this is my third one now so it just looks like that you can see smells so good and dan really likes the smell which is a good thing because he's quite fussy with smells um but i really really love it they do it in like a coconut like a shea butter shea butter i don't know um and i think there's a passion fruit one as well but i've never seen the passion fruit in a body butter i only ever see it in the body moisturizer um like just the the tubey one which i have got which is actually only one pound fifty because i went and bought that yesterday as well because i was like oh my god i need that so i got two of these because they were on offer and the one pound fifty so you must go and check them out it's really hydrating it smells great totally inexpensive and 
It's actually from the UK's number one day spa. So check out the Enspa range because actually I really, really love them and it smells so good. Now moving on to makeup. I've actually, the rest of the stuff here is like makeup and just nail polish. And something I want to show you, which already I think was in my March favourites, was my Elf Bait um, blusher, which was in, I think it was peachy something. I can't remember. I'll write it down somewhere. And it's just this really gorgeous um, baked blusher. And because I really liked it, it acted like a highlighter as well as a blusher. <clears throat> oh, guys, I've got a frog in my throat. Um, I had to go back and I wanted to get another one and this one was a pink one which I can't remember the name of that one either so I will write this somewhere on the screen as well and I will also write it down below um, with the rest of the list of the products and it's just a really lovely pink one. Um, it's actually quite a deep pink, it's more like a, a deep rosy pink I would say than the pink that I thought it was going to be from online but I'm just kind of... My favourites are the e.l.f. baked blushes because I've been flitting between the two. Sometimes actually even using both because this is a really good one for highlighting and then adding a bit of pink. I just think they're so good. They're really lovely pigmentation. They're not too dark and I just, I just really, really like them and I really recommend them for the price that they are. Um, the annoying thing is they don't have the names on the back, which I hate that about their products. Um, so I will have to go back and find them and then write them on the screen somewhere. Um, also put the names down below. So yeah, I've been loving the eight baked, the eight, the elf baked blushes. So moving on to um, lip products, and if you guys have recently just checked out not my last video because that was a whole video the one before, I did a lipstick one, and well, like my favourite current lipsticks, and already I have more added to them. Um, so as much as I love those others and I'm using them, I've now got another two that I'm really loving and it's kind of like the similar stuff like a Revlon body a Revlon body butter oh my god I'm thinking about that body butter a Revlon lip butter in cupcake um so it's just this really really soft baby pink kind of like ice creamy I suppose that's the cupcake it's a very girly pink color um and I really really love this over the top of okay so you all know I love my collection um like bright pink lipstick that I have. I've raved about it loads, I swear by it, the price, I absolutely love it. So I've gone back and I've gone to look at some more of the colours and I've gone and bought another one which I love again. I, I wish they had more colours in this range because I would just probably buy all of them. Um, and this one is number six Bubblegum which is a really similar pink um, to the, um, they're so pigmented it's amazing I have to ignore my really bad chipped nails um it's a really similar pink to the Revlon lip butter so I like to put this on and then to add even more of a kind of a gloss and shine and a bit more hydration I just add this one over the top and that has just been a combination I've been loving since the weather has improved here so I love those and so cheap and this is from Barry M and this is the uh bold black waterproof eyeliner I haven't sharpened it so it's completely flat <laughs> I've used it right down here, so I do need to sharpen it. Um, and I really like this. It goes on, it's really creamy. And, oh, I don't know, eyes. It's really creamy. It does last all day. Um, all day, like, at work, I was saying. But, uh, but it does come off with makeup remover really easily. It's not like you're not working, rubbing your eyes or anything. Because I've got really sensitive eyes, so if I did that, I wouldn't like it. Um, and I think it was, like, 3 99 and I love the fact they're like vegan and obviously they don't test on animals, which is brilliant. But yeah, it's a really gorgeous creamy black eyeliner. So my next two products are nail polishes and I probably should have just waited when I did like my summer, um, what my favourite like spring and summer nail polishes were going to be. But and I knew one of them was going to be in it and I think I even said it in there. But I just couldn't wait to do the video so I did it anyway. If you'd like to see it, I will link it down below. But the nail polish I should have added to it was this Essie Go Ginza. And I, it's a really gorgeous, I actually Instagrammed a picture of it. So if you want to check it out, then check out on my Instagram, which I will have that link down below. Um, but it's a really, really creamy lilac-y colour. And it's like the opposite to me for Fiji, which you all know is like my all-time favourite nail polish. And it's got that lovely creamy opaque um, colouring to it, which I really, really love. Um, one coat is pretty good I would say but to make it look 
like kind of a flawless colour. I would say definitely two coats, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And it's like just marries up with Fiji so well. Um, I still think Fiji is my favourite over this one because I think it's still more of that neutral colour. But for spring, summer, year after year, I really, really, really love that colour. And then my last one is actually from my Glossy Box, which is the Headline Colours, and it's the one in Poolside Party. And I just really love this. It's a really gorgeous um, blue. It's a turquoise blue. Um, I don't know where you can get these. I haven't had a look online where I can find more of these products, more of these nail polishes and what different colours they offer. But I really, really love this blue. And I think it looks kind of similar to, um, from what I've seen in the stores, because I still haven't bought it, which I really want to, the Essie in the Cabana. Really good. One coat. And I actually went out with one coat. And I never go out with one coat. And people thought, like, that was getting complimented on it. And people thought it just looked really, really nice. So I really like that one. They did say it was £9 a bottle. I don't know where you can get it from, though. But I will have a look for you. Um, so, yeah. So that's all of my favourites from May. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and I um, will be doing some tag videos soon because I got tagged by someone so I'm really super excited to do that one and I will see you guys in my next video. So please subscribe, have a wonderful weekend, week, a wonderful June and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.